Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click the Hire Us button, fill out that form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. The Contact Us link takes you to the same place. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, one of the best ways to do that is to use our Amazon uh, and uh, Ubiquity affiliate links. Those are down below. Don't feel uh, like you have to do that, but it does really support the channel. What we're going to talk about today is the Cloud Key Gen 2 and its relevance in 2022. And this is actually a Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. So this is the model that uh, has the hard drive in it. So real quick, when this first came out several years ago, you know, the only thing that it had on it was the network application and the Unify Protect. And this can do a lot more than that now. There's also been some uh, rumors that there's been some battery problems with these. I haven't experienced that. I did have one customer who didn't experience it but read it, so he proactively took his battery out. Um, so if you've had the battery problems with these, you know, let us know. But uh, real quick, before we unbox this, here is the site. And it uh, is compatible with Unify Network, Unify Protect, and more. You're going to see that. We're going to set this up. It's got a simple Bluetooth-powered console setup uh, via the app, or we're actually going to go to the IP address. It's powered by 802.3AF PoE or by USB-C. It does have that built-in battery for safe shutdown. So if it loses power, it's going to go through a safe and sane shutdown so that it does not blow up your Unify database. Very important. Comes with a one terabyte hard drive and you can upgrade it to five terabytes. And it's got the uh, front panel and um, uh, you know, you can put this in that rack accessory that we have. So we're gonna do that as well. Um, but let me show you what comes in the box. And you know, I do believe that this device is still uh, relevant. Some people are like, um, you know, is it relevant? Is it not relevant? You know, why would, you know, if you don't want to use, let's say you want to use Unify Talk or you want to use Unify Protect, but you don't want to use Unify, then you don't necessarily need to buy a UDM, right? You could have your whatever, pick a, pick a router um, and pick a switch. And then this could run your cameras. This could run uh, your phones, things like that. So um, it runs a lot more. If I can get it out of the box, <laughs> it runs a lot more than just Unify uh, Network and Unify Protect. So uh, lid is off the box. I know I'm a I'm not a great unboxing person, right? Um, but then you get this little bit of propaganda that's in here. You get a big sheet with a little QR code. You get another Unify set of propaganda. You get the cool Unify Protect stickers. You get a QR code, and it's in this nice little uh, folder. And then you get the unit itself. There are no other accessories in here. It is in this nice, uh, this nice uh, wrapping. Here, let's take it off. So real quick, I'll show you the device before we uh, get it plugged in and the other room. So on the back, you got an Ethernet, USB-C. Um, then you have the, um, the power. You've got the reset, the power button over there. Then on the front over here is where the uh, LCD screen is. And then on the bottom, uh, you've got a hard drive release and you've got... Uh, this is the cloud key rack link. So this is the, uh, when you slide it into that, uh, rack mount adapter, um, it is a pretty good looking device. You've got, uh, led over there. So, uh, oh yeah. One more quick thing. You do have SD card slot right there. So you can put an SD card slot in it. So without any further ado, I think we should go get this plug into the network and uh, see what's going on in this thing in 2022. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so our Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus is plugged in and ready to go. And you can see uh, I've got the IP address pulled up here. I just grabbed it off the front of it. 
And the very first thing that we get is UI is committed to protecting your privacy and security. And they talk uh, about how they want to keep as much data off the cloud as possible. So we're going to go ahead and click set up cloud key gen two. So we're going to call this, uh, W H lab cloud key gen two plus we're going to agree to the terms of service and this will be a personal setup. Now, uh, I don't have the option to skip the UI um, login. I don't, so I, I have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my UI account. All right, so we are now logged in and it wants to know our update uh, schedule. Keeping your network up to date provides you with the latest security. Uh, I am going to disable automatic updates. I am going to turn off the auto optimize, click finish, and it's going to set up our device. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and we're going to see what all we can actually install on this besides just Unify Network and the Protect app. All right, so here is our, our main screen. We're going to go to System Settings, and we're going to go to Updates. There we go. And you can see that uh, I am doing official releases, but already you can see down here that we have um, access is available and talk. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upgrade the base OS of this to version 2.4.8 plus blah, blah, blah. So we're on 2.1.11. So we're gonna go ahead and let this upgrade and we'll be right back. All right, so our system updated and you can see, and I didn't even have to do anything, it refreshed the console you can see how different this looks. So we're on Unify OS 2.4.8 with network version 7.1.61, protect 1.21.5. We can install Unify Access, Unify Talk, and um, UID. So I am actually gonna install Unify Talk because you're gonna see us add that to our offerings here over the next few weeks for people that want that all-inclusive Unify deployment. So, but we're gonna do some videos. We're gonna do, you know, how to do intersite calling with Unify Talk, how to hook a Grandstream UCM into uh, Unify Talk, how to use Telmex on Unify Talk, all those things. So that's coming soon. So you can see that this is a lot more now than just protect or just network. It's gonna have access, talk, UID, probably connect. You know, we know that that's, that's coming. So we're gonna let that update. So do I think that this uh, device is viable and usable and an important, important part of the Unify ecosystem in 2022? I absolutely do because you can still have a UXG and use this. You can have USGs and still use this. You can have multi-site you know, management and still use this. So, um, you know, it's, it's also gonna depend too, like what your camera resolution is, like how far are you really gonna push this, right? Are you gonna run cameras on it and access and talk? Well, if you are, maybe you're gonna look at doing something different you know, with the hard drive, depending on, you know, how much you're going to push this device. Um, you can see that talk is installing. I don't usually do the um, automatic updates. But real quick, let's go through the tabs. So you've got the, uh, the system tab and you can see that they are bringing the same look and feel to all of the Unify OS consoles, right? So you can do the whole system backup from here. Here's our notifications, our storage. So you can see that I am only using 470 megabytes of the one terabyte. And then we've got the about this. So once you update it, it uh, you know has that same look and feel. Talk is still installing, but absolutely. You could use this as a standalone Unify Network you know, controller, standalone Unify Protect, standalone Unify Access, standalone Unify Talk, standalone UID, right? So somebody uh, else was like, hey, Ubiquity, why don't you uh, give us a, you know, a one U appliance for Unify Talk? Well, here you go. You take the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, you put it in the rack adapter, 
and now you've got a 1U appliance for Unify Talk. You don't have to have a whole lot of horsepower for a PBX. So somebody says you have to have a huge x86 power system with 60 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of RAM, whatever it is. You don't need that. You can run phone systems. Um, you, you know, uh, Grandstream UCM does not have all of that, and it is still a very powerful system. Talk, for what it does, is a very powerful system. So we can click the setup on Talk. Here's the thing. To initially get it going and to get it up and running, you do have to have a couple of Unify phones. So you're going to see if I start the setup, um, it uh, is not going, wow, this is this is new, right? So it's, it detects the previous install on the UDM Pro. So it looks like I could uh, migrate from, now that is cool, being able to migrate from an old PBX to a new PBX just by uh, clicking that. That's that's pretty sweet, but I'm going to skip that and do a clean install. And um, so this is where we get stuck. We don't have any phones, um, and so it won't let us go any further. So, but come back for the Unify Talk videos because those are definitely coming. But let me know what you think about the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. I'm going to keep using them. I'm going to keep uh, suggesting them, especially as we have more and more people who are going to be adopting that UXG Pro instead of the UDM Pro. It's a per This is a perfect fit. You know, maybe they're going to come out with a 1U server that has all this stuff. But for now, if you don't want a UDM and you want the flexibility of the UXG or the USGs and you want to be able to run all these applications without that UDM, um, this is definitely the way to go. So let me know what you think. Like I said, there's an affiliate link down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. All of our clearly marked affiliate links are down below, along with the link to our website, where if you need that IT consulting, you can go down there, click hire us or the contact form, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Let me know, are you still installing the Cloud Key Gen 2 in 2022? If so, or if not, let me know down in the comments. Once again, thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.